Hello all, this video is on different types of uh, DWIN HMI human machine interface touch displays available. The different models and the different interface types. We have huge varieties from 2.4, 2.8, 3.5, 4 inch, 4.3, 5 inch, uh, 5 inch width shell and 7 inch displays of wide view angle and touch panel of resistive and capacitive types. This is 2.4 inch resistive touch of uh, pixels 320 by 240 and interface is uh, user interface is 10 pin FFC and uh, 6 pins to be soldered by the user. And the next one is the 2.8 inch this is 320 by 240 pixels resistive touch and the interface is uh, uh, 10, 10 pin FFC and uh, 6 holes to be pins to be soldered. There is also PGT05 interface for uh, uh, restoring kernel. The next one is the 3.5 inch. Uh, this is 320 by 240 pixels. Touch is uh, capacitive type and it has got a PGT05 interface and the user interface is only 10 pin FFC. The, there are no 6 holes uh, like other models. It has got only 10 pin FFC. So this video demonstrates all the interface types and uh, of different models. The next one is the 4 inch, uh, 4 inch type. This is 480 by 480 uh, uh, pixels and resistive type. The interface is 10 pin FFC and there is also interface for Wi-Fi. All other models also have Wi-Fi interface except the smaller models 2.4 and 2.8 do not have Wi-Fi interface. Other all models have Wi-Fi interface to access the cloud. The next model is 800 by 480 pixels, 4.3 capacitive type. And this is the most uh, famous one. The similar uh, model, we have a very high brightness model also. This is very costly. This uh, is mentioned by iPhone 09 hardware. Others are all iPhone 03 and iPhone 04. This model is iPhone 09 of very high brightness. The user interface for this model is 8 pin 2 mm socket which is for uh, power supply as well as RS-232 communication. Next we have the T5L drive 4.3 inch full function evolution board EKT043B. In this Wi-Fi board is already added. It is 12 volt power supply connector and USB interface is there and the speaker interface SD card uh, for downloading files and external interface uh, Pins, there is 48 pins are there for CAN, UART, 485, T8, TTL, PWM and ADC. So the uh, port pins are extended here. This is full evaluation board. And the next one is the 5 inch capacitive type. This is 800 by 480, 5 inch capacitive type. And the user interface is uh, 10 pin FFC and 6 pin holes. NAND flash can be extended. Next is the 4.3 shell type. This is 480 by 270 resistive type, economical one. It is uh, got 262 colors only. User interface is 8 pin 2 mm socket. Power supply is 12 volt. The next one is the 5 inch industrial grade. This is a uh, width shell 800 by 480, 16.7 million colors and uh, uh, capacitive type. And it has got PBT 8 pin. 3.8 ton mm socket for RS485 and RS4232. Next one is the 7 inch 800 by 480 with shell resistive type. This is also economical type. And finally, we have this uh, 1024 by 600 industrial grade 7 inch capacitive type with uh, CAN RS485, RS232, RS uh, TTL all in one industrial grade. Uh, uh, high range uh, models and we have the COF that is a chip on flex types this is very economical it has got a flexible printed circuit on which T5L IC is uh, soldered this model is 480 by 320 resistive type 3.5 inch at the bottom you can see the FPC and finally a 50 pin interface for using this uh, module with uh, microcontrollers you require on HDL 662S type of debug adapter. The next model in this COF is uh, 480 by 270 4.3 inch capacitive type. Uh, this capacitive type is uh, uh, very high uh, touch sensitive. 
and this has also got a FPC cable 50 pin connector where HDL 662S adapter to be connected. Now let us see the interface types. In this 4 inch resistive touch model the interface user interface is 10 pin FFC as well as 6 pin holes which uh, user to be user to solder these pins. In 2.4 and 2.8 also, also we have the same type of interface the 6 uh, pins you have to solder. Either you can use the FFC or the 6 pin solder to connect with the microcontroller or to your PC. The official board is HDL 662 board that is USB to FFC. It is supplied along with a 10 pin FFC cable. So the blue uh, part to be on the top. So there is a connector you can fix the FFC cable. Other end of the FFC cable to be connected to the 10 pin FFC found on the uh, uh, display. So blue portion to be on the top. You can connect like this. And finally a USB cable, male to male to be connected to your PC. Instead of this official uh, connector, you can also use USB to TTL CP2102 which is easily available in the market. This is to download files, uh, there is a design files onto the display. SD card method also can be used. Next is the PGT05 interface. The 7 pin holes found about the TFL engine. This is found in almost all the displays, 7 pins. This is to restore the kernel files in case of any failure. For this you require a PGT05 burner like this. You have to purchase separately and you, you load the kernel files and then plug on this PGT05 module onto this 7 pin holes like this. No solder is required. A separate uh, video on this is uh, in our channel. You can check up how to burn the kernel files in case of any failure. And to interface the COF modules, you require this HDL 662S interface board. This is for interfacing the COF modules. You can connect the 50 pin FFC like this. And the interface module has got uh, uh, RXDX pins and the power supply pins to interface with. It has also got the SD card uh, slot, buzzer and uh, USB uh, connector. Any model of uh, COF, whether resistive or capacitive type, can be connected with this HDL662S interface board. Without this board, you cannot connect with any microcontroller. For, and the next one is the 3.5 inch uh, capacitive type model. In this model, there is there are no 6 pin holes below the FFC, 10 pin FFC. There are no 6 pin holes. Either you can connect the 10 pin FFC with the official HDL 662 like this and uh, you can interface only with the USB of your PC. To interface with any microcontroller you need TTL pins. For this you use this type of uh, PCB. This is FFC to TTL PCB. This is supplied along with this 3.5 inch capacitive type. This particular model uh, needs uh, this type of interface. You can connect the FFC cable uh, like this 10 pin FFC at the other end is uh, all the uh, power supply and the TTL pins are extended so you can easily connect any microcontroller with these pins so this PCB is required only for this 3.5 inch capacitive type this particular model 320 by 400 model most of the DWIN models have the user interface like a 10 pin FFC below that 6 pin holes where you have to solder the pins and access the RXTX pins and the power supply pins. You can use USB to TTL CP2102 which is available in the market to connect with this uh, and download the files or you can use the HDL662 official adapter. This is the HDL662 official adapter with uh, 10 pin FFC cable. 10 pin one side you have, uh, connect on the display, other side you, can, you have the USB a connector connect it with PCB and download the files and the most of the models have the Wi-Fi space where you can connect a Wi-Fi chip this you have to purchase separately this is uh, designed on ESP8266 the famous Wi-Fi chip this board can be soldered onto the uh, display and you can access the Wi-Fi cloud platform to update uh, data remotely most of the models except the smaller models have this Wi-Fi access.
The model 4.3 inch iPhone 09 has got 8 pin 2mm connector user interface. By default it is 232 or you can solder this 2 pins shown here to access the TTL. So this 8 pin 2mm connector uh, can be connected with this uh, default cable supplied. This uh, cable is with uh, 9 pin D connector and uh, DC socket to provide a 12 volt supply. And this 9 pin D connector, either you can connect a, a 9 pin D connector to TTL board like this. So this board is uh, by default comes with a 9 pin female connector. If you want you can change it to uh, male connector so that you can plug it easily to this cable and access the TTL pins. Or you can either directly solder the two pads on the board and access the TTL pins directly instead of RS232. The next one is the 4.3 shell model 480 by 270 this is economical model this is also same type of interface 8 pin 2 mm socket where uh, this cable is provided along with this uh, shell model you can connect this cable and access the rs232 through this uh, d connector 9 pin d the other side you can see sd card slot to download the files the user interface is through this db9 connector and 10 pin cable supplied with this model. The next model is the most famous model in industry. This is 5 inch shell type 800 by 480 capacitive model. It has got uh, inbuilt RTC as well as uh, speaker to play audio files. The interface is uh, RS485 is also provided and uh, there are fitting clamps to easily fix it in the industrial environment. The RS485 is represented by AB pins and to the bottom you can see R2 and T2 this is for RS232 it is not uh, TTL uh, take a note of this always uh, refer to the specifications and the AB is connected to this RS485 which is the most preferred communication in the industry standard you can use this RS485 to USB converter like this so that you can access through any PC a twisted pair cable is generally used for the RS-485 communication and long distance even up to 1000 meters is uh, possible through this 485. So this is the most preferred communication in the industry standard. This RS-485 to USB can be used to download uh, files onto the display. Instead of this uh, USB co connector you can also use RS-485 to TTL which is easily available in the market. At one side you can see A and B which is RS-485 connection along with it you have to supply 5 volt. To the other side you can see RE and DE which uh, to be connected together and when it is 1 it is transmit and when it is 0 it is receive mode. The RX and uh, TX of our Arduino or microcontroller can be connected to RO and DI pins. At the bottom you can see R4, T4 and R2, T2. This is only 232 communication, not uh, uh, TTL. You can also use RS485 to RS232 available uh, module like this. So you can connect one end to RS485, other end to RS232. And this is the 7 inch model with shell. This is also got AB which is the RS485 connection. and. Uh, uh, R2 T2 which is uh, RS232 connections to RS485 you can use uh, RS485 to TTL and access any uh, microcontroller and finally we have this uh, a 7 inch industrial model with uh, CAN RS2485 RS232 to all type of interfaces and this has got high resolution and CH and CL is the CAN bus uh, access and AB is the RS485 and uh, we have got uh, other UART communication also that is for uh, only available when, uh, with the OS uh, configurations otherwise only R2T2 is available at RS232 communication so it has got CAN, RS485, RS232 all type of communications with this uh, industrial type of grade 7 inch uh, display it has got a speaker also it can be used with the uh, RS-485 to RS-232 modules like this. So always refer to the specifications of uh, the model you have to check up the supply voltages and the interface available. Thank you for watching.